Product reviews are an important part of any free market. They give the consumer information necessary for making educated purchasing decisions. In video game reviews, the score is often the only thing people care about, but why are scores often seen as more important than the words the reviewer writes? Odds are you've looked for a review of a product before making a purchasing decision. What's the first thing you did when you looked at the review? You probably scrolled down to the bottom of the page to see the score. I know I'm still guilty of this to this day. The sad thing is, there is very little actual information to glean from the number at the bottom of the page. At a glance, you'd think it's an objective stance by the reviewer that Game X is an 8 out of 10, a great score by most standards. The only objective fact is, reviews of a product that is supposed to be fun or have a gripping narrative can't possibly be objective. Video games, music, and movies are all forms of art, and appreciation of art is almost 100% subjective. You can argue that a small sliver of art can be objective, like the frame rate of a video game being below 30 frames per second. Some people even argue games running below 60 FPS are unplayable, which is an absurd notion to me personally, although I would rather play a game running at a higher frame rate. Back in the early days of GameSpot, they tried to review and score games objectively. This is something that editors who used to work for the website talk fairly openly about. Giant Bomb's own Jeff Gersman has talked about the scoring rubric that they used for reviews when he worked for GameSpot. It broke down things like graphics, sound, and gameplay to try to come to an objective conclusion. They no longer review games this way because both games and the way that we think about them has evolved beyond the basic parts of a video game. Though gameplay is still the most important factor to most, things like story, characters, and themes might be the very reason why some people play a game in the first place. Because people might come to a video game for different reasons, it's logical to think reviewers would review them based on their personal feelings toward how they play in the first place. So this ultimately removes the need for scores in my opinion. The only way that a score becomes relevant is if you know the general likes and dislikes of a person reviewing the game, but even then, there can be some exceptions. You might as well just read what they have to say so you can come to an actual understanding on why they liked or disliked something. Let's have an intelligent conversation instead of getting angry because somebody didn't like the game that you liked. Reviews are ultimately just opinions. Everyone is allowed to have one, and when we have more of them out there, we can have better, more nuanced discussions about the hobby as a whole.